Sunday the 21st, Snowmageddon in Northern California. It's a cold 65 degrees outside, sunshine. Granted, it has been raining a few days this week. Um, in the back, we have the Okefenokee Swamp because the special people who built the backyard didn't slope it right. So it's a slushy marsh back there. Um, some quick updates. Um, radishes are doing well. I rotated the uh, planters again yesterday. So, you know, it is what it is. Just waiting for them to grow. Um, the strawberries, I took out some of the ones, uh, some of the runners, put them in the greenhouse. We'll look at those in a little bit. Um, some of them were too short to keep the runner on, so I clipped them and hope that they survive. That's all these down this side. We'll see. Um, nothing to lose. All the base plants are in there, except for there was one in the corner that I carved out. We'll see that in the greenhouse, and uh, we'll see how it grows. Um, nothing poking out yet from the, uh, the Blue Lake green beans. I uh, expect those to start uh, popping out anytime soon. The sad potatoes that were doing well into the big wind. Looks like that one's dying out. That one did die, and that one's just barely surviving. But it was just an experiment, so um, yeah, probably have to dig those up and uh, plant some new seed potatoes. And then we have all the onions. Um, I put the rest of them in here. It's been really wet. Um, the instructions say water them once or twice a week, but they've just been drenched because of the rain. Let's see if I can go on this side and not stand and put a giant shadow on everything. Um, carrots are doing well. They're starting to pop up. Once they get a little bigger, I need to um, thin them out. This one is spinach. Nothing happening yet. It looks like that's been um, about two weeks. Actually, there's a little tiny one hanging out over there. The rapini's doing well. And that was a different kind of carrot, right? So we got two carrots. And these are the green onions that I actually started from seed before I decided to um, buy the onion set. So. Off to the greenhouse. Well, that was a long trip. And it is warm in here. Let's see what we've got going on here. A little too close. 90 degrees. There's 90 plus in here. Um, we'll start on this side of the world. Nothing going on quite yet. Um, but you can see a little cracking going on there, so there should be some plants poking up. There's a bean starting to try to do its thing. That seems out of focus for some reason. That's weird. I'll have to double check and hopefully I don't have to redo this. Um, looks like I need to water these a little bit. Um, pea pods and Brussels sprouts poking through pretty good. Um, charge trying trying to make its way out so this should all be uh, popping up pretty good this week um, these are what cherry tomatoes and cucumbers not doing too bad and I swear that is out of focus that obviously is but Um, and then some of these just have not been doing all that well. Like all these are dead, right? Which I've already started over here in these. Um, the long strip is the potatoes. The And did I replant the potatoes in the other? I'm trying to look over here. I don't remember. How do you like that? Anyways, um, tomato plants looks like... Um, like we already know, lost those, lost that one. Looks like something, 
because there's multiple seeds look like I lost one and either that or the broken ones actually sprouted leaves look at that um, so they're starting to hit a little growth spurt so they don't look so terrible this week um, but like I said contingency plan I already started those that's these first two rows over here of the bobcats um, and the biggest thing I'll we'll start down here so I carved up one of the strawberries that were in the dirt and you can see all the roots so got about halfway in I figured it's a good healthy plant let's see what it does um, just did it yesterday so we'll see um, how well it does with the transplant shock um, I think these were the new ones you can see a little root hanging out in there maybe I can't see if that's focusing it's so bright in here um, and then the ones I did start well, that's a pretty good one there you can see the roots sticking out there um, this was the original one that was in the dirt and had the runners and then I put in here so that's doing really really well so I'm imagining a good growth spurt starting um, these other ones are a little bit slower but they're actually doing pretty well I tried to trim them up a little bit you can see all the roots but the biggest thing is the leaf lettuce is hitting a growth spurt now that's getting um, a little bit warmer a little more consistent um, probably grew an inch and a half since last week so that's all doing really well and then what I forgot what was back there so there's some bok choy going on you can kind of tell by the way the leaves look and then um, the cilantro's up here it's kind of slow to get going but uh, it's still doing all right and we got a few things that uh, just aren't doing their thing so those need to get uh, picked out and uh, something else put in there so um, got a couple extra holes three four looks like five and we've got some runts like this one but that one's doing real well there's only two leaves but look at the roots on there so I actually moved that down here because it's a little shallower down at this end so I put anything with the uh, with the longer roots down here other than that uh, that's pretty much it for this week you know just uh, updates and uh, looks like most of the water's drained out from down there so I can uh, take the wet back put that back in the garage and that's pretty much it for this week just a few updates and uh, we'll see uh, what this strawberry looks like next week and what that leaf lettuce looks like next week and go from there <laughs>